What's up guys, Marjack79 here, and I think I am now ready to uh, give my take on Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, I've been playing it for about the last month now, and I feel like I can give a pretty and accurate uh, take on how I feel about the game now. Um, so to start off, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins is a massive game. Um, I, I'm at around 99% uh, completion, like I said, and I easily have around 80 hours of playtime. So right off the bat, the extra year of development time allowed for the uh, largest Assassin's Creed game by far. So uh, let's talk about some highlights first. So to start off with the fighting system, so in earlier Assassin's Creed games, it was counter, attack, counter, attack, win. Every single time. Not so much here. You know, every battle and every enemy type is different. Uh, you have to, to calculate each attack because over attacking is going to get you killed very, very quickly. And I definitely know that by experience. Uh, I would say my first hour of playtime, um, I was getting my butt kicked. And I definitely had to re-evaluate how I was going into each each battle. <laughs> so you definitely need to keep that in mind if you're uh, planning on going into this game uh, with a lot of Assassin's Creed experience. Uh, it's, it's way different from uh, like Syndicate or Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, or even 2. But that's, uh, but that's great though. Now with that said, in my opinion, this is easily the best like, combat system in any Assassin's Creed game uh, by, by far. You know, you have, your, you have your daggers, you have your swords, your axes, your clubs. So I mean, it's a different vari variations of bow and arrows. So of course, like your daggers is gonna be your light and fast weapon. Your swords is going to be your medium weapon, and then your clubs and axes is going to be your heavy, powerful weapons. So, but I mean, it's all it's all here, you know, and especially from this specific time time period of uh, ancient Egypt. Now, obviously, you're not going to see any guns or cannons or anything like that because they because they just didn't exist yet. So, let's talk about exploration. So, of course, I mean, the game takes place in Egypt, so you can travel pyramids, tombs, sphinxes, cities, it's all here. And it's great. Most of the areas are filled to, to the teeth with stuff to do. I mean, you're going to have your forts and your smaller forts, you got your larger forts, you got your escort, well, not, not escort missions, I'm sorry. Uh, you're going to have your fetch quests where you're going to need to go in and collect some stuff to maybe upgrade your armor or upgrade your weapons or whatnot. It's all fun, it's all great, and it's all addictive. Now, on the flip side of that, now you also have your deserts too, as you can see me traveling here. Um, now, the only thing about the deserts, I mean, you know, it makes sense that they're, uh, that, that they're here. I mean, it is Egypt, of course, but um, they're completely empty, man. I mean, it might be maybe a couple, maybe a tomb or so in one of the in one of the deserts in the entire experience. But other than that, I mean, every other desert is completely empty. So I mean, that's kind of that's that's kind of a letdown. I was I would have maybe hoped. I mean, uh, keep in mind the uh, the uh, video game aspect of it. So I think it's just kind of pointless to uh, add in uh, large areas of the of the game like that and not filling them with stuff to do. So you know, keep that in mind when you're playing the game too. That the deserts, while cool in aspect, uh, it's just not it's just not much to do there. But but every everywhere else though is great. So. So let's talk about the story and the characters. You know, so it's your typical revenge story, um, and in all honesty, in all honesty, I really enjoyed the the story. I mean, uh, it was great. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of uh, an Assassin's Creed story that we've seen before, but that's okay. Now, as for the main assassin that you play as. Um, Bayek. Um, he's not my favorite assassin. I think that honor still holds true to Ezio with um, 
Edward from Assassin's Creed 4 being a close second, but that's by no means to say that I did not like Bayek as a as a character. Um, he is he's funny. And he is a uh, relatable, and he's just a cool guy to play as. He's definitely not the worst of the of the bunch by far. No, I think I still think probably Connor is the biggest douchebag in the uh, Assassin's Creed community. But um, but like I said, he's still fun to play as, and I feel like he definitely cares. And he genuinely cares about the well-being for the people of Egypt. You know his his dialogue and how he speaks to the uh, people and how he interacts with them. You know he generally does want the best for his country. You know that's those are all uh, the respectable attributes that that you can that 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 you would want in any in any uh, pro antagonist that you would play uh, play as in a in a video game. But I think the best aspect of Bayek's character is definitely his his wife Aya. Um, I think Aya will go down as one of the best uh, side characters in the entire Assassin's Creed franchise. Uh, she's definitely probably my favorite character from uh, from the game. Um, now the thing with now the thing with with Aya too is that you can actually take control of her in certain missions as as well, and uh, she kind of she controls a naval boat, kind of similar to uh, the uh, naval combat system in Assassin's Creed Three and Four in in Rogue. So. So you can definitely keep that in in mind too. If you're thinking about hopping into into this game, there's definitely that aspect is, uh, is back too, which was one of my favorite aspects of uh, Assassin's Creed 4. So, no, no, like I said, I won't dive too much into the the story, but Bayek and Aya, they're they're put into extreme circum circumstances, and due to those extreme circum circumstances, is why they. Uh, de de decided to create the Brotherhood, as it's called in this game. Uh, they're uh, they're never once referred to as uh, assassins. Uh, they are the Brotherhood, aka the Hidden Ones. As far as negatives, you now I wish there was an in-game feature that included maybe a map to unlock all of the. Uh, all of the secret locations of all, if, if there was any like extra forts or tombs or anything extra. Cause I mean, uh, like I said, I'm at, I'm at 99% completion of the uh, game and I needed, I believe uh, one more uh, low location to find and complete before I got the platinum trophy for the game. And, I, and I've been searching for the last two or three days, but I cannot find it at all. And, and I hate to, uh, put the, to put the game down but I mean, I'm 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 about ready to I'm about ready to move on. Honestly, guys, I mean, I, I have other games that I'm ready to play, and like I said, I've put I've already put around 80 hours into into this, and I just don't see the point of trying to tra traverse the entire world, attempting to find one more secret to uh, get my 100% com completion. Well, maybe in an update patch or something, eventually, maybe we can get. Uh, the collectible thing for the uh, map so we can find out anything that we may have missed I mean it's not it's not a huge issue but you know just uh, it's just more of a nitpick than anything else honestly so in closing um, this is probably the best Assassin's Creed game that I've played since Assassin's Creed 4 uh, which is probably still my favorite in the series. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 slash Brotherhood is up there too, but Assassin's Creed Origins is right up there with them too. I mean, with all the other amazing games that came out this year, um, uh, this game is right there with them, uh, to be completely honest. This might be my second favorite PlayStation 4 game this year, uh, right up there with uh, Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn. So it's not my game of the year by any means, but I mean, it's a it's a great game and it deserves to be experienced by anybody that's a fan of the Assassin's Creed franchise or the action adventure genre. So, if I had to uh, give it a, a final score, I think I would go 91 out of 100. So, and if I had to throw out a tidbit, um, I would hope that the next Assassin's Creed game takes place in feudal Japan. I think that's the most logical place of where they need to go next.
With that said, I hope everybody enjoyed my review of Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button on the left side of the screen for me. And if you want to see more videos just like this, uh, look towards the right side of the screen and hit the subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it. You can follow me at youtube.com slash 79 and facebook.com slash 79 There's other Assassin's Creed videos on the channel. You should definitely check those out too. And until then, I will catch you guys later.